is there a level of satisfaction with the win or a bit of frustration in the, in the late fade out where are the emotions at after that best 60 minutes we've played since i've been here nothing but positives good learning from the last two games we absolutely annihilated them i thought it was one-way traffic they had two shots on goal they scored two goals we need to get better in that department otherwise we were superb superb so in terms of your finals hopes i mean i guess they're alive mathematically does this change your outlook in terms of what's possible from here no no it, it, it didn't look the best and i said that after the last game and they put in a performance like that we had a good chat about things and that's all i expect that kind of intensity that kind of performance the attitude was there like i said i, I thought it was it should have been six simple as that um and then you've got these little moments jack rodwell scores a goal again you know i've said this before but th there's no advantage to the attacking team i think the line should be thicker and they do that in europe and in certain leagues as well and then when they go on the other end and 3-1 but other than that like i said i've got nothing but praise for my players in terms of their intensity their quality and it should have been easily six by that time so Probably your second best result since you've taken over after the derby and maybe your best performance according to your analysis. What was the key reason for that then? I wouldn't say second best result. We've won games, Gabby, since I've been here. Um, the derbies for me is irrelevant. We've won, like I said, we've won a lot more games than that and we should have won a lot more games as well at the same time. In terms of performance, like I said, for 60 minutes, we should have been up by six easily and, and that would have been nice um, for the opposition. So nothing changes for us. We'll just keep going. Um, and, and for, for me, the, the principles in, in terms of what we're trying to teach them, that's important right now, and they need to continue this game game by game. Final one from me. Um, Daniel Margush, it looked like another mistake. It's his second in a, in a few weeks. Is that a bit of a concern for you in the run-in? No, not at all. Do you think you could have been stronger in that situation? Absolutely. Uh, well, Roots, Joey Lynch here, working for AAP tonight, mate. Um, congratulations on the win. Best 60 minutes that your side's played under you. Why exactly? What did you do right tonight that you haven't done or not done as well in previous games? Move the ball quicker. We played at more intensity. We were much better in our 1v1 duels. Um, the forward runs. Uh, I've challenged them. I've played... You know, a different system with them without the ball since I've been here. And like I said, it, in terms of assessing the personnel and the players that I've got, I like to put them you know, under pressure and, and see if they can react to certain situations and certain challenges that I've set them throughout the year. So, you know, like I said, tonight they, they're able to grasp the task and then they're able to, and they did it with quality, they executed with them without the ball. What do you think that grasping of it is down to? Because, I mean, the obvious thing looking at how great they play tonight is why haven't we seen that throughout the rest of your tenure, given that they've had this um, in their locker? That's, that's on me because we haven't always played the same every game with and without the ball. So, like I said, I want to see us you know, in, in, in different moments, different setups. You know, we've, we've had a, a mid-block in certain games. We've attacked differently in certain games. And, and, and for me, like I said, you know, I've, I've come in to assess the team um, and, and, and challenge them at the same time. But, you know, like I said, the players, you know, some players take on the responsibilities. Others, others you know, need to, need to improve. But, like I said, there's a, there's a, there's a, lot, of, a lot of messages and, um, on the training paddock, a lot of time spent in video analysis. And, and like I said, it's about challenging them. Um, and until then... You know, you, every coach inherits a team, and that's that's what I've done, no different to everybody else. And, and I like to challenge them with different things, and I've cert certainly done that. So, like I said, we I believe we, we, we should be higher up in the table and have more points, but we haven't. Um, today was a good learning because today we held them off as opposed to the last two games. So, like I said, for me, top, top performance and uh, absolutely annihilated the opposition as far as I was concerned. Well, with that in mind then, are you inclined to continue to assess and throw different things at them or will you want to try this again against Wellington to see if they can replicate it back-to-back -back weeks? Yeah, look, we'll, we'll, we'll assess the opposition um, and, and we'll, we'll 
but, but for me, it's not so much even about that. It's about the principles of play, making sure that we understand that because irrespective of the, of the system, there is there are certain non-negotiables which haven't, haven't been there. But tonight, they were there, like I said, for 60 minutes. And when they're there, we're red hot, red hot. And every player's pretty much had an opportunity, had play, played minutes this year under me, and that's another thing. You know, I wanted to give everyone an equal chance or, or a chance, should I say, and then it's up to them. They either make my job harder or, or easier. Simple as that. And <clears throat> just looking at your fixture ahead, Roots, you've got Wellington twice and MacArthur once as well in your last four games. You've dealt a heavy blow to Newcastle's finals hopes tonight. The thoughts of acting as a spoiler ever come into the minds of yourself or your players heading into these games? Has it ever discussed, you know, playing that spoiler role? It's pretty much the same question that Garby asked, but in a different way, um, and, and nothing, nothing changes. Nothing changes. Like I said, for me, it's, it's about you know concentrating on on recovering and, and making sure that, that we do the same things that we did tonight for sixty minutes on on Sunday. Well, well fended again, Rude. So maybe I just uh, Marcella came off today. He looked a bit sore. Do you know what he's done? And do you have any other injury concerns? No, I haven't assessed it. I haven't, haven't spoken or assessed anything yet. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll do our due diligence as per normal. The processes remain the same. And then we'll find out exactly what needs to be done. So it's a, a short turnaround for us, and that's what we like. And we need to embrace that. Roots, why can't you make... I mean, you've got Perth in the last four as well, who are... I mean, their own CEO said during the week they don't think they'll win a game in the run-in. Why can't you make the finals from this position? Gubby, you've had two cracks at this, mate. I'm, I've, I'm not, I'm, I've not said that we can't. I've not said that we can. I've said what's, been, what's most important for me is to stay in the moment and make sure that we replicate what we did tonight for 60 minutes on Sunday, and, and, and that's all, Gubby. And like I said, and I answered that before, you know, la la after the last game, everyone dismissed us. Nothing changes. You know, no one, you know, we're, we're still dismissed, so to speak. For me, it's, it's not about that. You know, it's about making sure that we continue on in the same manner that we did for 60 minutes and we just look forward to the next game. But Fair well enough. done, Gabby.